Today I'm going to talk about algebra and solving equations. First of all, in this video, I'm go going to start with flow charts and then the next video we'll talk about transposition. But for now, if you know how to do these flow charts, then it will make sense what to do when you're not using flow charts. Flow charts are really nice because it helps you understand what's going on in an equation. So let's start with this equation first. This is called an equation, not an expression, because you have two sides to the equation. And what you're going to do is solve for x. So you want to find out what number this variable x will, will be um, once we solve for it. So basically, in a flowchart, a flowchart looks something like this. And this is a flowchart that's created for this first equation. And whenever you start with a flowchart, notice there's a little circle. And that little circle is to indicate that's where you put the variable x. Now, after you put that variable x, well, what do you, you want to indicate what you do to that x. So notice the x starts here, and what you do is you minus 3 from the x. So you put a little arrow, then you minus 3, and notice that's in a little square to indicate that all the numbers go in the squares. And also, this also is a circle at the end because it equals, and that's why I have an equals 6. And so we've got that there. So notice you have x minus 3, x subtract 3 is equal to 6. Now, we're going to go backwards and then figure out what x is just by going backwards. So you start with the 6. And then you do the opposite of what this box said. And the opposite operation, it says minus 3 or subtract 3. So instead of subtract 3, you add 3. So what you've got so far then is 6 plus 3. And that's actually pretty easy. That is equal to 9. And that's your answer. Now, a quick double check, 9 minus 3 is 6. You could have probably done that in your head, but this is just to give you an example of how a flowchart works. Now let's go to the next flowchart, the next equation, and solve for x. Again, to use a flowchart, the idea is to make sure you know how to do flowcharts because these are pretty easy, but when we get to more difficult questions, it may not seem so obvious. So first of all, you start with your circle, like you did before, and you're going to put the x in there. Then you have an arrow, and what did you do to that x? Well, you add it, you, or sorry, you, you, you multiplied by 5, because it's 5 times the x, so you multiply by 5, and then that is equal to, because it's equal to, we put a circle, 110. Now you're going to go backwards and solve this equation. This is writing it out, this is solving it. So we go back up, and you do the operation sign, the opposite of the operation sign, divided by 5, and that gives you the final answer. And let's look at this. 110 divided by 5 is 22. <laughs> okay, so you've got 22. And if you double check this, 22 times 5 is 110. Now let's go back here to this next one, and this is a little bit more complicated. It's not just one operation sign that's attached to the x. So we're going to start again always with the x. Now this 7 is much closer, it's glued on to that x, so you actually have to do that divided by 7 before you can do the plus 5 if you were going to do this as just, just as your calculations. So that will be your first one that you want to do. Again, a square, and you say divided by 7. And then after you divided x by 7, then you could add 5. So you make your square and you add 5. And that equals, so it equals circle negative 2. Now you're going to go backwards. And you're going to start with that negative 2. And because we're going backwards, we have to now divide by, oh, sorry, subtract. That says plus, subtract, 5. And then you need to do the opposite operation. Multiply by 7. It was divided by. Now it's multiply. And then you get your answer. Well, let's see what that is. 
You have negative 2 minus 5. That gives you negative 7. Negative 7 times 7 is negative 49, and that will be your answer. And let's double check. Negative 49 divided by 7 is negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2. There, you've got your answer. All right, so in all of these, you're going to be doing these types of charts, and at the end, you will indicate that x equals negative 49. And you'll write something like this. Okay, let's go to the next one. And this one includes another step to it. So I'm going to write a little smaller, but it still will be, hopefully you can see it well. All right, so again, you always start with the x. And what do you do to that x? Well, you're first of all going to multiply it by 4. So your first step is multiply by 4. You put that in a little square. Whoops, it's multiplied by negative 4. Don't forget that. And that's very, very important because it, can change, it will change your answer. Multiply by negative 4, all right? And then what you do next was, is that you would add 7 to that, all right? That's what that means. So your next step would be plus 7. Even though it doesn't have plus 7, this is the same as saying 0 plus 7. So it's understood that that's what's happening there. So you have plus 7, and at the end, once you figure out what that is, then you have to multiply by 2. Now remember when you have a number, and you have a bracket right beside the number with no operation sign inside it, or in there, that means a multiplication. So you're going to multiply by 2. And again, that's in the square, because these are all the operations. That equals, and you have a circle, 8. So now let's go backwards. You have your 8. You go back to the first square. And it's a multiply by 2. So this time you divide by 2. The next square, it says to add 7. So you subtract 7, which is the opposite operation. The next square says to multiply by negative 4. So you divide by negative 4. Notice that negative does not change because that's part of defining the number. It's an, it, the operation in this case is divided by. In this case, it's multiplied by. So you have divide by negative 4, and you get your final answer up here. So let's see what you can do here. First of all, 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 minus 7 is negative 3. Negative 3 divided by negative 4 will be your answer, but there's two negatives, so your final answer is 3 quarters. You don't put those negatives in. All right? So that's that one. Let's do one more, and then I think you're off to the races to do this yourself. Okay, in this case, it's much more complicated. Now, notice that in every single one of these examples, there's been only one variable in one place, and we don't have a variable on the other side. That's going to be another video as well. But to begin with, this is just so you understand what is happening. So let's again start with the x. So you start with x, and to that x was multiplied by 4. So you would times it by 4, so times by 4. And then you would, ah, and it says, um, notice it, you have to be really careful here because this is x times 4. Then what do you do to that? Well, you're going to minus a 5 from that number. All right, you don't add 5. The minus 5 goes with the 5. The minus goes with the 5. All right, this is saying that this is a positive value plus whatever this is. All right, so you minus the 5 from there. And then you would multiply by negative 3 before you could do the plus 8, because this has to be done first by order of operations. So you multiply by negative 3, and don't forget that negative. And then you're going to add the 8, and then you're going to divide by negative 7 because that's what the fraction line means, is divide by negative 7, and that all equals 13. So now let's go backwards and start with 13. Our first box shows divide by negative 7, so we're multiplying by negative 7. The next box says add 8, 
So we're gonna subtract eight. The next box had times negative three, so we're going to divide by negative three. And the next one says minus five, so I'm going to do the opposite, which is plus five. And then times four becomes divided by four, and then you get your answer. Okay, so let's look at this. 13 times negative seven is negative 91. Negative 91 minus eight is negative 99. Negative 99 divided by negative three is 33. 33 plus five is 38. And 38 divided by four, you can write like this, 38 over four, which equals nine and two fourths, or nine and one half. So that's your answer, nine and one half. So here you can write x is equal to nine and one half. And for this one, you would write x is equal to three quarters. This is how you solve for an equation using flowcharts.